Hey everyone, this is Rick Morgan, your comic book scientist. Uh, this video demonstrates uh, the next iteration of my comic book washer. In this case, I am also checking a new cleaner, which I suspect might be uh, might be harsh on uh, reds and yellows. The pH is too high, so I think that um, you know, I'm learning that the ink solubility of the reds is pH related. This is going to test that on uh, an old Spider-Man book of mine. And I'm going to check the cleaner and check the um, how the comic book washer works with both water and this new cleaner I haven't named yet. So we'll see what happens and uh, hold on and I hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Bye-bye. I think uh, today I'm going to work on this Amazing Spider-Man 64 to try my new washing machine out. Now this is, you know, ripe for working on my... Uh, with a Mackie clean, of course, and obviously I want to do that. There are many stains here. This is like a water stain line here. See this? It's a water stain. Lots of dirt. This book is really bad, of course. Lots of wrinkles. Someone traced over the Spider-Man the webs on the cover here. Big water stain right here. This is the thing I'm most interested in working on. Staples are really bad. I mean, I, I would uh, be more careful in removing these staples if they were already not, you know, everything popping off the book here. So I am going to remove these, and then we will take the um, take the book apart, and we will check it out and see how we do. So in this case, instead of using a pair of pliers to pull this up. I'm going to hold this bottom staple still. I'm going to put my micro spatula in here. I'm just going to rotate it in my hand. And then I'm going to rotate the bottom part in my hand. Like this. And then I'm going to, once they're up a little, I'm just going to straighten them out with my fingers. I'm going to hold this one down while I straighten this one out. Same here. I'm just going to put my tool under there. And I'm going to hold this other half down while I rotate this up. I rotate that up. And I'm sure that many people have better ways and removing staples than I do, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get some comments about it. And that's okay. There we go. Nice and vertical. Now I'm going to push these out, push these out. There's Gwen. Uh, there's Spidey and Vulture, it's awesome stuff. Captain Stacy, take the staples. Here, top is top, bottom is bottom. And I'm going to put them right here. And I will tape them in place for later. And this, these are my leaves for this particular book. And this is the cover I'm going to work on today, I think. I'm going to mend this cover as well while I'm here. I might as well do that. Um, but I will mend it after and not before I clean it because the mending tape will stick better when it's clean. So we will do that. So this is my cleaning device and I'm going to attach this piece of this polypropylene non-woven sheet to the back. Hopefully it keeps the comic book from sticking to this. I have never done this before. You're seeing this the first time that I am. I have no idea. These clamps might be too tight and damage the book. The jet might be too strong. This is um, on the left. This is a new higher pH cleaner. And I probably should just stick with a regular Mackie clean, but I've been wanting to see how this stuff works too. So I put this in and the other bucket is just plain water. So I'm going to try two experiments today. One with just, well, I'm going to do one half of this book with the stronger cleaner in the other half with just the water. So let's see how it goes. So we're gonna do half the book at a time in this case, and I'm gonna clamp it to this sheet. We'll do the 
title page down first. Suspicion here. I remember being suspicious that these clamps were too aggressive. I have to think of another way. If you have an idea, put a comment down below. I'm going to plug my pump in and see how much comes out. I fear it's a little too strong and I'm aiming this higher pH cleaner right at the surface. Hopefully it doesn't tear the book apart. But we'll see what happens. And it's, you can see already, I think, the top by this part is starting to remove some of the red ink. And I wish it weren't so powerful. I'm going to have to get a finer spray, like a spray nozzle, and I'm going to have to slow that down for future. And we're just going to see how it looks. Well, and looking at the back here, we're checking for leaks. There's some leaks at the top. Obviously, there need to be some improvements to the system and improvements we will make. Now, in this case, I've turned the book around and I'm just putting regular just water in here. I rinsed it out once and making sure the valve is closed after I rinsed it. And I'm just putting water. So we're going to check this uh, new cleaner, which has definitely dissolved some of the red, but not the blue and the green, which is something I was I was suspicious it was pH sensitive all this time. I think this shows it is the green and the blue aren't really removed there, but the red really is. And I'm going to plug it in and see how it goes. Here we go. And we're going to spray some water here still stronger than I'd like just rinsing it out now this is just for general soil I didn't have a book with a lot of water stains on it for this testing but we're just gonna let this spray for a while each time was approximately 10 minutes of total spray and I'm noticing here that some of the red was gone even on this part from the cleaner splashing up but we're getting two tests for the price of one here and I'm just gonna wash the whole book a little bit to see how it's going. So we're noticing here this there's just a ton of red missing along that spine. You can see a fine line. The red is not missing with just water. It also doesn't look a lot cleaner, just water, but the top part does look cleaner. So there's obviously a trade-off that we're learning about. And we are going to turn this off and we're going to take the water solution and drain it out of the system here. And then in another moment, we're going to remove the book and then we will dry the book and inspect and see how things are going. Now here, we're going to take the book on a drying sheet, the cover, we put it between two sheets here. We're going to put it in an oven and we're going to heat it at about 140 degrees for about 15 minutes and then won't be completely dry possibly but we'll see it should be a lot drier and easier to handle at that time so we're going to start the oven and give it a whirl all right it's been a little bit of time here we we'll take the book out see what it's like it's just a tiny bit warm still Take it over to the shelf here and do a quick inspection, make sure everything's okay. It's dry, pretty wrinkly, definitely faded, a little bit cleaner, and definitely needs to be pressed before we reassemble the book. And of course, we'll do some mending too. Definitely faded ink on the right, but not very clean on the left. So water didn't clean very much and the new cleaner uh, faded that ink pretty badly. So obviously we won't be we won't be using that one. Inside looks pretty good. You can see some of the red ink coming through the back of the book actually. So that's there's some information for us. So we'll take it back home and we will fix this book up. Okay, well, you know, sort of as expected, this looks wider. But, you know, there's some dirt here still, and there's some red missing, which we feared 
but the blue and the green are okay. The yellow seems to be okay. This you can even see some of the red missing just from crossing over here. The water did I'm going to say next to nothing on this guy. So we are going to try a little bit of traditional uh, cleaning, and then we're going to press this guy in the press flat again, and then we're going to see what we can we can get out of here. So let's let's try that. So we are going to start off with. This is, I love this book, by the way, because this is when Mary Jane had her, um, they gave her a bob, and then she sort of disappeared from the book for a while. So if you haven't seen this before, this is, um, she has uh, this short haircut. That's actually Mary Jane in here, if you can believe it. So that was, uh, you know, the hair makes the lady in this case. That looks very different. Um, so anyway, let's try it out. We're going to try to clean this up a little bit with regular stuff. Well, here I go. I got my regular old Mackie clean instead of just water. And let's see if there's any difference here. What we pick up, just kind of wipe this off, see if we can make it better. And yeah, now it's coming up. This is, so the water was just not doing it in this case. And the new cleaner I have, which I haven't named yet, is not, is it? making things wider but it's probably too jesus lord that's a lot of dirt coming up off of this book so um yeah this guy's going to come out cleaner i think um when we're all done so the water was just basically ineffectual um we'll see what happens uh, i'll get oh my god that is really dirty um i'll try the other side here and see if we get any dirt up now. I'm hoping I don't get much dirt. I'm hoping that the rinsing took a lot of that. Oh, that's the back of this is off of a Batman book that I cleaned previously. Really dirty. Um, let's see here if I can get this. Let's see if I get any dirt. I hopefully I don't get any or very little on this side. Oh Jesus, I get a ton of dirt. So, geez, I'm not sure that besides water stains, I'm not sure that the. Uh, Comic book cleaner is of much value. There's a little bit of ink coming off because it's still this book's still damp. Um, dear Lord, so this new cleaner I've got it's not working good. I got all that off of there, Lord. Man, I think I might be sticking with the uh, traditional methods, except for um, except for the water stains. Jesus. Um, yeah, there's a lot coming off of this still. Um, man, so I think the new cleaner is going to get an F and water gets an F. Um, because the regular old vacuum clean in a normal setting is doing pretty well. Uh, let me try this other side again here. Let's see what this guy looks like when we're done. Man, I may have spent all that time and money on nothing, but that's that's how it goes. Okay, yeah, I'm still I'm still picking up dirt off the side that so water is not not cutting it. So I let that thing rinse for a long time, and there's just a massive amount of dirt coming up here. Um, it's interesting because of just the paper, I think if it's just white or if it's just a water stain, like the aging part of it, the, the washing machine really helps, but, uh, but so it doesn't really help so much with surface soil. Cause I've done other experiments where the, um, where the yellowing and the aging comes off like pretty well with that rinsing. And I think that's more for this normal sort of interior paper. I mean, while this is a part, I might as well try this out and see too, but I could try to do that and just to get it, you know, not yellow anymore. That might be a good experiment. Um, gosh, I don't know what this thing's going to look like. It does not look terrific right now, but does it look cleaner? Yeah. We'll let it dry for a little bit and then we'll keep pressing. Okay. So this is sort of dried and it kind of wrinkled up as you can see here. So we're going to Put some paper over it and a board here to kind of act like a gasket and another piece of paper and another board to act like a gasket. 
then, oops, here. Then we are going to put a big piece of metal on top of it. If I can find out where I put it. Well, here it is. There we go. I'll swing this around. Like this, and we're going to give it a good squishing. And then we're going to smash that guy flat, and we're going to give it a good old 600 seconds and see what happens. All right, well, here we go. Here's a little mending here for us. We are going to cut a small piece of this mending tape. I'm, I'm not going to fill this with paper pulp at this time, so um, you know, don't, don't look for that. I'm going to put a little bit of this paper underneath here, and I am going to... This stuff is more difficult to work with than you might expect. So I'm just going to lay that here. And I am going to rub it from the other side. Here first. Then I'm going to cut another piece. It will be the piece on this side. And we're going to just... Take this off of here a little bit. And then I'm going to take that on our knife. Set that across here. This will be our other side here. And this will help us to put this book back together again. Now, it's not perfect, you know better but you know while we're at it since we're in here we're going to kind of patch this other part again which looks like it's not far from from doom as it is so we're going to uh, do the same just to reinforce it now this book is of course garbage but I have a little love even for garbage books <laughs> We've pretty much <laughs> we've pretty much made it garbage, even if it wasn't before. And I'm going to do the same thing on the inside here because I can. I'm right here, so we're going to help this book out. And this will be, you know, let me give this to my kids, and they just it's a reader. They're going to read it and enjoy the story for what it is. Uh, because today's market, where people value grades so much and rarely talk about art and story, we are going to patch this guy up, and then we'll heat press this too to make sure that this mending tape is all good and stays on there pretty well, which of course it will, but that's it. Um, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. All right, let's see what we got here. Things looking good for our little friends. I have no idea what they're going to look like. I did put the rest of the book underneath the uh, cover here so and flatten the whole thing out. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, you know, not perfect, but better, maybe. Here's the rest of it. So, oh, that smells good. Okay. This guy is, you know, this is barely hanging in there, which is why it got to be an experiment. Let's see how clean it looks. All right, how clean are you, fella? You know, this isn't perfectly white. But whiter, this is definitely still dirty there. I think it looks, I mean, gosh, I think it looks cleaner. But we're going to do this thing right. I'm going to mend this. I'm pulling out a piece of mending tape here, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to stick it on the table. I'm going to put my finger under it here. I'm going to cut a piece off, approximate height. I take two ends and I measure it and see if that's enough material. 
it's slightly too much. So I'm going to come back and cut a little bit off. This cover was barely on and it was quite split, so we're going to fix it up here. Then it's going to be stuck there. It might be a little tacky on the back, so in a few places we're going to sort of rebuild this with some paper on the outside as well, some mending tape on the outside as well. I mean, this this little girl needs some work, so we're going to keep working on it. All right, so we've got these guys in here. We're going to uh, just push this staples back down. And then we're going to poke some holes through the... This is a little more delicate because the, uh, you know, where the holes are located is not particularly well known. So we're going to straighten the staple out. And sort of just mark the spot here. these are going to go. Looks like we know right there. This right distance. And I'm going to just sort of put my fingers there and put a hole. And here, put a hole. Put this together and come in from the other side. And we're going to paint this through there. Nice and evenly. So one of them is not lining up exactly right. There we go. There we got it now. It's not straight at all, but we'll get it back together. Then we will, of course, we'll fix it. All right, well, let's see how it looks all done. So I put the book back together. I put the staples back in it. We'll see how it looks now. It's been sort of repaired, so... You know, it's pretty faded. I, mean, I guess if I hadn't run the red ink out, it wouldn't look terrible. But I put a big old hole in the cover. <laughs> How's the back look? You know, I don't know. Wider down here for sure. Is it better? Maybe? Um, no, I mean, it's not better. Obviously, it looks terrible. But it's held together. It's, it's you know, something someone can read now. It's kind of holding... The, the cover is no longer, you know, split up here. Um, I don't know. Let's see here. Is it? It's readable. You can now read the book. My kids, my boys will read it. And you know, this is a good, fun, classic Spidey story. So good for experiment. Good for uh, you know reading now. Um, bad for color and oh wow I bought this for 70 cents a long time ago I know exactly where to um, so anyway that's it that's my story and that's how the device works and spine is I don't know okay better anyway